Back in April of this year, Mercedes-Benz took its concept long-range vehicle, the EQXX, from Germany to France, a distance of 621 miles on one charge, a charge from a battery pack that's roughly about 100 kilowatt hours. Well, they decided to do it again, except this time they went 747 miles from Stuttgart in Germany all the way to Silverstone in the UK. Now, on that trip, they did have to use the Eurotunnel because no matter how nice the EQXX looks, it doesn't float. But it does offer up impressive efficiency numbers. During that drive from Germany to the UK, it got 7.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which is sort of insane because most production vehicles right now, they're getting around four miles per kilowatt hour. But of course it's a concept car and there's no way they'll let me drive it. Sure, I can do a ride along, but not drive it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except that they did let me drive it. I am here in the EQXX at Mercedes-Benz Immendingen Test Center in Germany, and they have allowed me to drive this vehicle. And if while I'm driving it, you hear a funny little chime in the background, that is me being rewarded for driving efficiently. So there it is. Getting the EQXX to do over 700 miles on a single charge, well, that requires a lot of adjustments. Most importantly is the drag coefficients, which on this vehicle, 0.17, which as the kids say, is very, very slippery. The battery pack under my feet, while it has about 100 kilowatt hours of capacity, it has 50% less volume and is 30% lighter than what's in the EQS, which has a 107 kilowatt hour capacity pack. It also uses passive cooling to keep the battery and motor cool, so it doesn't have to use more electricity in order to keep those elements at an optimal temperature. Up here we have these thin solar panels that Mercedes-Benz says adds about 25 kilometers to the range of the vehicle, but the power from these panels doesn't actually go directly to the battery, it actually goes to the infotainment system. So this powers the infotainment system. So how did they get this vehicle on the road so quickly? Well. There's Emma. This is the test vehicle for the EQXX. It is Emma, E-M-M-A. They learned how to build a vehicle in the computer, then they went to a test bed, and then before they put all the bits inside the EQXX, they put it in this vehicle, which is an EQB. They actually use this vehicle to do that initial drive from Germany to France, the one that the EQXX did in April, except with this vehicle, they had to pull over and charge because well, the drag coefficient on this is not nearly as nice as that you find on the EQXX. Driving the EQXX, it's amazing how close they got this to production. It feels really nice for a concept test bed. From the outside, it looks like a race car or a sports car, but it's more of an economy car because there isn't that big jolt of acceleration at the beginning, but once you get going, you know, it's got 244 horsepower, top speed of about 84 miles an hour. It's really actually quite fun to drive. There is an auto recuperation mode, so it'll determine how much recuperation to apply based on the road. So if I'm coming up to a roundabout, it will increase recuperation. If I'm just on a straight line with a slight downhill, it'll just let me roll. So once you turn off all the recuperation, it's really impressive just how long <laughs> This vehicle will just keep moving. It's sort of eerie. It's almost like riding a bicycle where you're going downhill and you just lift off and it just goes. That's what this is like. Well, it's very similar to driving a production vehicle. It's really close. And again, this is a one-off vehicle. It's not like they have a fleet of them all over the place. And of course, we have to talk about the 47.5 inch display that goes from pillar to pillar. Again, this is a concept vehicle. It is a test vehicle. Mercedes really didn't have to make it this impressive, and yet they did. And with this, I can see the aerodynamics. You can see if the diffuser or the shutter are open. I can see where the sun is at. I can see what the wind is doing. But like I can see my drive efficiency right now is 97%. Of course, I'm also going downhill. The research that they're doing for this vehicle will eventually work its way into other Mercedes Benzes. You want it to be as close to production as possible. And there's the German lady yelling at me for uh, speeding again. <laughs> I'm also on a track, so it's not like I'm dealing with other drivers and weird roads. Mercedes Benz isn't committing to bringing the EQXX to the market, which is sort of a bummer, but all the technology, especially the efficiencies that they're learning from this car, 
they'll be moving over to production EVs for Mercedes-Benz. For example, the EQXX is built on a 900 volt architecture, while the current Mercedes-Benz EV lineup is based on a 400 volt system. 900 volts gives you better DC fast charging speeds. So hopefully it'll make its way into the automaker's line of electric vehicles soon. So no, you won't be able to find the EQXX at any Mercedes-Benz showrooms, but the technology that we're seeing in this vehicle right now will be showing up in the automaker's EVs in the future. For more automotive coverage and a room with green walls, be sure to subscribe to Engadget.